Okay, YouTube, so this is the video of me modifying my Caliber Stingers. This is with Elite Clipper Mods. Uh, they sent me out um, the Andis uh, GTX Blade modifying uh, version of it. So I'm gonna switch out my Blackout Blade that I have on this uh, GTX trimmer. And as you guys see, I've also got um, a modifier a zero gap tool right here. And I am going to use it. I'm gonna see how well this works. Uh, they did send me that. Um, had a you know good good report with them. Really cool people. So he, he sent me this as well. So I appreciate them for that. And right now I'm basically just zero gapping my my. I'm just zero gapping my my blackout blade. All right, so let's open it up and let's see all the parts and the components it comes with. I, I mean, I, I am glad it comes with uh, some screws because um, sometimes it's hard to find some loose screws around. So as you guys see what I'm doing, I'm tr I took off the blade and now I'm, I am adding the bottom part of the modification. I'm screwing that in so your blade can fit. And to be honest, man, all the people that are doing this, man, I think it's just genius. It's an easier way for us to modify the clippers and trimmers the way that we want it to look. And um, I appreciate them to just, you know, figuring it out and uh, offering us this service. All right, now, so I'm gonna add the the modification piece to the Andes Blackout Blade. And I am now gonna place it on the trimmer. And I'm gonna screw that in. And we're gonna give this a go and see how this works. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks. I definitely like the blackout version of it. Um, it doesn't feel bad at all. It is sharp, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel bad at all. Um, it doesn't feel like it's biting. So I can honestly say that the modification tool definitely does work to zero gap in trimmers. So this is one of the barbers uh, at the shop. I told him to test it out on me. Uh, sometimes I like to use a tool on myself before I use them on other clients. And um, I'm also getting his feedback as well on how he thinks it's coming out. And here's another client of mine. I'm just tap and go, lining him up. But the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing about switching out to the GTX blade is that um, it's an all around blade. Uh, you can use it for the whole shape up and still get a sharp line, which that's what I was really going for. Um, when it came to this trimmer, because I do love the power of this trimmer. Um, I honestly feel like with the all around blade, uh, you will have more use for it. And I go straight to the neckline and nothing, no, no irritation. I'm not cutting him at all. So when, once you modify it, it does not, you're not going to have the lack of it still being a sharp, you know, tap and go, but it's just, it's just, it, it gives you room and flexibility to, to use it for other things as well. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment below what you think of this video. Um, I, I have an amazing video coming out tomorrow and um, I'm just going to keep bringing, um, keep bringing y'all these, uh, these reviews, this the stuff that y'all would like to see. So thank y'all for watching the video. Y'all have a great day. God bless.